the public, if you think about it, believe that there's been collusion between the banks, that they simply follow each other with all their fees, that there's been no real competition between them. This all actually started on Friday with what looked like an accidental tweet from a NAB employee. It read, so stressed out, have to make a tough decision and I know I'll probably hurt someone's feeling. Well, no one likes to receive a Dear John letter announcing a breakup, especially when it's published in the papers for the world to see. The NAB has written an open letter. A relationship breakup letter. Dear Combank, ANZ and Westpac. Honestly, it isn't you, it's me. This letter today is astonishing, Wendy. Well, I can't be around you anymore. Enjoy your ride. Oh, yeah, right. Good riddance. Nowhere was safe from the blitz by the newly single NAB. NAB's launching a full-scale attack on its competitors. The NAB is telling its rivals their relationship is over. There was even a piano man singing broken love songs outside the ANZ headquarters. The sky, the street and the net were all bombarded with messages of breakups. This is the biggest thing we've seen in banking for a long, long time. Is that the other three big banks are filthy, absolutely livid with the NAB right now. Consumers stand to save tens of millions of dollars. This has got to be good for Australia. Sincerely, NAB. <laughs>